of Africa. We ran to all throughout the West Coast and the Spaniards and the conquistadors took us and prophecy of Deuteronomy uh, 28 and verse 68 fulfilled itself when it's gone to the four corners of the earth. So we were only a portion of the tribes of Israel. You had two tribes, a portion of two tribes, Benjamin and Yehuda and some of the Levites, some of the houses adopt that was spread through the four corners of the earth. So what you're looking at is prophecy. Our people, we just, we, we just, uh, uh, God's face, which is in Zion, has just been revealed to us across the earth. And so now the presence of our people need to come back because the covenant has to be kept that was made with our forefathers. So our forefathers was the wicked one. That's why we deserve to get kicked out of the land. You understand? But we remember the sins of our father, as Torah said, they will happen. And these are the days. So if you notice what took place, all this happened during the four blood moons. Our awakening, our awakening happened seven years ago. This is seven years ago, the awakening, like across the whole earth. We just start waking up, we start remembering. How this whole you from these days? We're the Israelites. The Israelites? We're the Israelites. We're no different than our forefathers. Welcome back. So, thank you. Thank you very much. And the woman said, welcome back. We're glad to be welcome back. Shalom. 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 Romans was white, European. And so, only place we know that they run to Europe, because if we run to Europe, we're going to stick up like a sore thumb, right? So we ran into different Africa. We were there throughout the West Coast of Africa, and even some of the children of Ham even helped 
But we were there to the uh, slave trade, you know, the Atlantic slave trade. That was a prophecy that was spoken about in Torah, in Deuteronomy 28, and verse 68, about how we'd be taken to the four corners and sold as slaves. And so we're fulfillment of that prophecy. But the prophecy also says that one day they remember the sins of their fathers and they'll return to this place. And then, but they have returned to pray in Zion, in Jerusalem, to ask the Father to forgive us so we can come home. So what you're witnessing is the second group of, of Israelites returning back, fulfilling it. Because one day, the Master is going to be here. And if all kingdoms have to be run down in order for the God, for the, for the Most High God of Israel, to establish his kingdom on earth, it has to happen. Sounds good, right? And that's what you want, right? That's what you want. Follow that's what tour, we want. Right? All right. You want to follow the tour, right? <laughs> all right. Okay. Then. All right. So, so, so all praises. So you want to be in accordance. Long as, long as the children of Israel, see, the children of Israel were the priests of the earth. You understand? We were the priests. My four, my forefathers. Well, and because we felt the covenant, we felt the covenant through Solomon. Look, he started right here in Jerusalem. But you guys, we, we know that Allah is the is actually the mission of the of Dawood. Okay? But I, when, when, when Solomon's children ran to Lachish, you know where Lachish is at, right? Right. Okay. That's, the scripture says that was the beginning of the sins of the children of Israel. They were not going to stop coming to The sons of Solomon had everybody come to the city of the kings of Lachish. And when that happened, we start worshiping what is called Diana. Who is no one Ceramus? Nimrod's wife. Uh, uh, what else is this? Isis. Isis. He's he was washing his idols. Yeah. And so that was the beginning. And so um, our kingdom was split in two because the, the God of Israel, the power of Israel said, listen, Dave, he said, Dave, this is uh, Solomon. I'm not going to punish you because of what I told your father. But after you're gone, the kingdoms are going to split. And when the kingdoms split, you have those of the northern kingdom who was taken by the Syrians under the Babylonians to what is called the Middle East or farther Middle East. Because remember, all this land right here was known as Africa up until 1917 after the First World War. So your great-grandfather wouldn't even call this the Middle East. He would have been called as Africa. You understand what I'm saying? You guys went to Africa. We flipped. We flipped. Flip. And, yeah, and, and now in 70 AD, the other 800 years later, our forefathers, the, the Hamashiach, Yeshua, has spoken about the prophecy that would happen in 70 AD. Mm -hmm. So 40 years later, it happened to our forefathers. And we ran into Africa. Some of us stayed there. Because it's the prophet. He had, he had two sets of prophets. He had the false prophets who were saying, stay and stay. And we stayed. But uh, Vespasian and Titus destroyed Jerusalem. Not totally. We still remained there, had a stronghold for another 60 years, up until 100 and 130 under Hadrian. Okay? When Hadrian, he was the remaining one who took us out. And he hid that place from our forefathers. He took the rest of the Israelites into what is known as Galilee. Okay, but we had took it back because remember, Vespasian had became emperor. And his son Titus stood in his and, and, and stand in his in, in, in this reign. Okay? And so when that happened, you know, they kind of slacked up in power and we took it back. It speaks of the Jerusalem of the Amorites and the Jerusalem of the Jebusites. Those are two different places. Okay. Remember, when Joshua came across here, right, and he took the city, the Jerusalem of the Amorites, the city of the five kings, right, and he cut off the toes, remember that? And he put them in a the cave, right? They stayed here where the Benjamites, the tribe of Benjamin could not take Jerusalem, which was in the south of modern Jerusalem, from the children of, Je of, the, Je of the Jebusites. And, they, and, and Torah tells us that they stay with them. They settle amongst them. And then here comes 300 years later, here comes King Dawu or David. And David came and they made a pact with David. They said, listen, take the city. So David said, I'm a, you borrow with me today, I'm, you stay with me, we're going to take the city. And the scripture tells us that he, the, the Jebusites said, David, you ain't getting in here. And David told his captain, he said, first one, go through the sewers. It's going to be my captain. He told somebody, first one takes the city, going to be my captain. They went through the sewer. And that city became the, uh, the city of David, the same as Zion. What does it say? This, uh, this, uh... All right. Now, this is what we call Hebrew. This is the, the, the name of, our, of, of, the, of the God of Israel. See, the, the name of the God of Israel, it will follow Torah. But Torah will be taught from Zion, from the children of Israel. 
not from the other nations. The other, every other nation had its chance. So you are the children of Israel. We are the original children of Israel. We are the, the bloodline, the same bloodline. Of so you, you fled through, through uh, Africa, South yes. America, you came down from the U.S.? Yes, we Not only from the U.S., all, all over the world. All over the world. And Zechariah, Zechariah 8 and 20 well, says. I mean, this group. This group. Yeah. All yeah. over the world. Yeah. So much from all over the world, different places. UK, UK, Canada, Germany. The God of Israel, the Ruach, when, when the Hama Hamashiach, before he left the earth, he said, I'm going to leave the Ruach to Takadash. Yeah, exactly. So you can follow. And that's what Wolf was following. So you want to welcome us back to the land? Hold on, Rabbi. Hold on, Rabbi. Shalom, shalom. All right. You got that, brother? That's a man.